Welcome back, everybody. We're finally here with Emily's Energy Corner. It's been two full weeks that I had to skip it because I had bronchitis and my voice was so hoarse I couldn't have made it through this last section by myself. And, and I love the Energy Corner because I like to feel all of your energy and you beautiful people that are listening to the show and I kind of just want to talk to you directly. Um, today's guest was Amy B. Cher and she wrote a book called This Is How I Save My Life and she had chronic end-stage Lyme disease and had to go. She went to India for a life-saving uh, stem cell transplant and it had as much chance of killing her as it did of saving her. So it just took tremendous bravery on her part, such an act of faith to, ch to chase your healing. And now she lives a really happy, healthy, functional life. She has a healing practice now where she helps other people and it has a two year wait list. How awesome is that? And also unfortunate that people have to wait that long to get in, but that's how many people need help. So today's Energy Corner, I want to talk about your life and your healing. And I said this a little bit on the show earlier that if you feel like something is out of bounds with your body, you have to be in charge. So if the doctors don't find something, go see somebody else. Go see a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a, and go to another doctor, go to an integrative medicine, go to a naturopath. There are so many different facets that are in need of healing when your body feels out of balance and it might not be something physical it might be emotional so you might need to go and, and work in cognitive therapy and work with your mind and the way that you think because the way that you think can completely offset your healing or give you healing and that negative fearful thinking all the time can tear you down even when the best options are being presented to you so I want you to really pay attention to how you're treating yourself and how you're feeling so if there is something going on, I, I implore you, I just, I encourage and, and just, you have to trust your own body because nobody else knows you like you do. And that brings me to my next part. I have a friend who is really struggling, and I don't just mean one friend, but I'm going to say just one, who's really struggling. And I feel like that a lot of times the way that they view their life is almost like a life sentence rather than an opportunity for a really wonderful experience while you're here on the earth. And I wish so much that I could change that for her and for him. I wish so much that I could teach happiness and gratitude and what it feels like to be grateful for really, really small things. But I can't teach that and I can't make you understand it. It's your own path, but it's possible and it's available to every single person in the world to have a change in your path and to make it. So when people say you are one decision away from a completely different life, that is so true. It's just so true. And those days that are a little bit mundane or, oh, same old, same old, and you feel like nothing ever changes, those are the days that should be relished. Those are the days that should be, I'm so grateful that everything is good and calm and safe and healthy right now because it's not always going to be that way. And it doesn't mean that everybody's going to go through a bad time, but everybody that's human is going to go through a bad time, whether that's because somebody else has lost or hurt or passed away or there's just, this is part of living. And when I think about my friend, I sent them a letter the other day and I said to them, you know, I wish so much that I could help. I wish that I could be a support, but the truth is I can't because there's nothing that I can do for you. This all has to be your choice. The most that I can do, and I hate that, is I can pray for you. But I don't mean it in that trite way of my thoughts and prayers are with you. I mean, I can sit with you and help you grow the same intention for yourself. But first, I need to know what that intention truly is because I want you to be at peace. And I don't know that I have an attachment to where that is or what that means because it's not me. It's not my own life. So when I say I can sit with you, I can grow that intention with you, I can share in your energy and in your space to do what it is that will help you to find peace or health. That's what I mean. And I hope that together collectively we can do that for people that we love or people that we know or people that we don't know that need our help to help them grow their intention. And I do hope that your intention is to heal. Of course I hope that. I hope that your intention is to heal. I hope that you want to be here on this planet. I hope that you love it. I think 
that the earth is an amazing place to be. I love being alive here on the earth, but I can't make you feel that way. And the truth is, I don't understand the other side of that. And, and that's just me. But I worked really, really hard for my own healing. And I worked really hard for really simple things. Amy and I were talking today on the show when people would ask her, what are you going to do now that you're healed? I mean, she went through hell. She went through true, complete hell. And when they said, what are you going to do now that you're healed? Her first thought was, I just want to go to the grocery store and buy groceries. I want to be able to turn over in bed by myself. I want to feel good. And she said her life is, is very normal but beautiful. And that's exactly what she wants in her life is to just enjoy it. And I think when you go through a really hard time and you've earned your healing, it's so different because all you want is just to enjoy something so basic that, that somebody else could take for granted. For me, it was the same thing. I wanted to be able to go to the grocery store and enjoy grocery shopping instead of like feeling super anxious and, and contemplating running out or not. Uh, I wanted to be around other people and not have to put on the mask of, I'll help you. I'm really happy. I'm really, I'm really comfortable in my skin when I wasn't. I had to kind of shed that skin and start over and learn how to be comfortable and learn how to enjoy my own company and enjoy just being calm and in my space without having to jump to what's next. And I want that for people, for their healing. But the truth is, I can pray with you. I can help you grow your energy and your intention. But the first thing I need to know is, what is your intention for your healing, for your body, for your life? And then I can help you, hopefully, grow with you and grow that intention into something that is tangible and that can bring you some peace and some health and some wellness, some overall whole body wellness and healing because life is meant to be enjoyed and I, I feel like a lot of people feel guilty when they feel happy where they feel like it's this life sentence that has to be carried out but they don't really want to be here and they don't want to give themselves permission to feel good or to feel healthy or happy because that will mean that something bad's going to happen because we're always waiting for the other shoe to drop all the time but it doesn't always have to be that way and I think that that's really important to remember and one of the things that Amy said in this interview that I found so profound is you know people think about healing and they want to go back to who they were but no you don't want to go back to who you were because who you were led you up to the place that required intensive healing so what you want to do is become the person that you were always meant to be and that doesn't look like anybody you can compare to from the past because it's something really beautiful and it breaks the shell and it breaks all those ideas that you hold from the past and you get to start over. So you are one decision away from any life that you want to live, whether that means that you are going to move or start something new, write a book, quit your job. I don't. It doesn't matter. It's, I'm not attached to what that means for you. It means that that shifting and changing can happen even if everything in your life stays the same. But in your mind, everything changes with those decisions and with growing your own intention and your own energy into your life because it is your life. So I want you to enjoy it and I want you to really think about that today. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this, this whole show as much as I did. I loved having Amy on the show and you guys really should go get This Is How I Saved My Life and also her other book, How to Heal Yourself When No One Else Can. You guys, thank you for listening. This has been All About Healing. I'm Emily Francis and we will see you back here next week.